Ladies and gentlemen, as you are all aware, the Lord High Priest has passed away. Now he sits beside the goddess. There are those intent on making spurious allegations about the circumstances surrounding his passing. But I can assure you, he died a natural death. And I tell you this, I have no intention of becoming the next Lord High Priest. Or rather, I have no intention of becoming another hollow idol, like all those we have had to endure until now. I ask you, what is a king? A king is but a man born into the right family. Should that give him the right to do whatever he pleases? Be waited on hand and foot and answer to no man? A soldier demanding such treatment would never be tolerated. Even if such a soldier had the stature of a king, he would never be allowed to escape the social class into which he was born. I am such a soldier, born out of wedlock and thrown out of my own home. A commoner like me has no right to be Lord High Priest. That is the belief of the church. Yes, such positions of weighty responsibility should be filled exclusively by incompetent aristocrats. Our great, noble and righteous holiness. Whatever did he achieve? A sorrowful prayer for our uncertain world? Perhaps. But certainly nothing more. The Lord High Priest, our kings, our goddess, all of them reign over us from their high, exalted thrones. Each one as useless as the next. But I am different. For I have not one drop of nobility in my veins. Yet I am here. And only as a result of nothing but my own merit. Follow me. It is time to oust our artless rulers. It is time to choose a new leader. So, you have a choice. Follow me. Or meet your fate, just as those intruders shall. But if you stand between me and my destiny, you leave me no choice. <laughs> 